I'm Channel 2's Chris Hernandez. This is a very special groundbreaking for the city of Kansas City, Missouri. This parking lot will soon become an apartment building, and the developers say they chose this location specifically because of Kansas City's streetcar line. This is economic development as promised. All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for coming out here on such a beautiful sunny day. My name is Andrew Ganahl, and I'm with Linden Street Partners. We're the developer of this project, 1914 Main Street Apartments. Just want to say a few quick words before I introduce uh, the mayor of this fine city, Sly James. So there were probably three things that struck me and my partner when we first came to Kansas City to look for opportunities in the downtown area. And the first one was really the enthusiasm and the commitment of the residents in the city to the revitalization of their downtown area. You can see that in the commitment to the streetcar line. You can see that in the number of restaurants, bars, uh, businesses that have really opened up in the crossroads over the last 20 years and made this probably the hottest neighborhood in town. The second is the passion and the enthusiasm of those entrepreneurs and the businesses nearby. Our architects at Chem Studio, our contractor, Centric Projects, uh, you know, those restaurants nearby, Michael Smith, The Rieger, Affair, you know, all these really bring an energy and a vitality to this area that we thought would be exactly what our residents were looking for. And the last thing that struck me really though is the warmth of the people, if not the warmth of the weather. <laughs> but this is a fun town to do business in. I really have just enjoyed meeting everybody, the sharing culture that marks Kansas City. This really is a, hey, we're all in this together. Let's grow the pie. Let's not fight over any particular part of the pie. And we're just really glad to be here at this part of the evolution of the crossroads. So we're very proud to be bringing some of the first new construction to the crossroads in many years. 44 apartments. You know, that's at least 44 new residents for the area. Uh, modern open floor plans, balconies, uh, a really nice street front served by streetcar. But when we thought about what are the amenities of our project, we really thought the amenity is the city itself. That's our amenity. And it's a beautiful city. Uh, the last thing I want to close with is it's also very interesting here. I, uh, my father-in-law, who was raised here in Kansas City, as well as my wife, he would talk to me about picking up the streetcar with his grandmother in Waldo and riding it up to 12th and Main and getting it off and going to the Emory Bird Fair department store, the shop, around Christmas time. And then they'd go to Woolworths and sit at the counter and eat there. Um, you know, it really is bringing kind of a back to the future aspect of this too. And I look forward to the day when our residents as well will be able to jump on that streetcar, ride it downtown to work, to play, to live. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been so helpful to this, the city, uh, Rick Usher and John Pager in particular, and Casey Bizcare really helping us be problem solvers all along the way. Uh, to the mayor and the council for the support for both our project and the streetcar. Uh, I'm sure I'll forget a lot of people, but everybody who's, who's been there with us all along the way in the last year. Um, thank you very much, and without further ado, uh, the mayor of this fine city, Mr. Sly James. Well, this is just... Uh complete and total vindication of what we said all along about what would happen when we started building streetcar. If you were at the downtown council luncheon last week, then you heard about all the investment that's going on in the transportation development district. Schools are expanding. Shops are coming in. Residential dwellings are being built. People are moving to downtown. All sorts of great things are happening. And this is one of the greatest because these folks had opportunities to go any place they wanted to build, but they came here. And they decided to wipe out some of our surface parking lots and put something much more productive in it. To build that density downtown that will drive further development, further retail. And I'm positive that them being right on the streetcar line had something to do with that decision. Others are making that same choice. It's once again 
great to know that this city is moving forward in a fast and progressive way. But the best thing about it is, is that we're working together to get it done. And when everything is done and laid and the streetcar is running in 16, I think we're going to see a city that we hadn't quite imagined before. All of the pain of construction will be forgotten. All of the joy of new people moving around, filling up restaurants, going to the stores, doing those things that people do in neighborhoods, and this is a real neighborhood now, will be very obvious. So thank you for coming in and placing some faith in Kansas City and spending some money here. Thank you for working on the project, everybody at EDC and, and LCRA and all of the agencies and all of the people who, make, who are making this project happen. This is exactly what we wanted to see. We're very happy to see it. We're very proud. Thank you all very much. Hi, I'm Brad Satterwhite with Chem Studio, the architects for the project. I'm here representing uh, my entire office and uh, the consultants that uh, are working on the project as well. Um, we want to thank Linden Street for having us be involved in this project and, and being able to design and help create uh, and represent all the things that they spoke about uh, for what this project represents. Um, for us, it's a very much a team effort um, with our consultants, with our contractor, with the owner to, uh, to create this for the city. And what's exciting is, is that it is one of the first new construction projects in this area in a long, long time. Um, the Crossroads represents a very authentic neighborhood, something that's grown organically. And uh, through the entire team, we tried to create a design that represented that authenticity. So this project um, has a very strong frame that represents uh, a modern warehouse, uh, open loft feel uh, that connects you to the city, using, utilizing the city as an amenity, um, and, and really trying to engage in a very authentic way. Um, again, want to thank them for having us uh, help create this. Uh, it's truly exciting um, and, and really looking forward to seeing it take shape and help transform uh, the, the built environment here in the crossroads in Kansas City. Good job. And I'm Richard Wetzel. I'm one of the partners at Centric Projects. So we'll be the general contractor uh, for this project. And, um, you know, both uh, the mayor and Brad have, and Andrew have all talked about the crossroads being a neighborhood and it's our neighborhood. We're, uh, we're about a block down the way here, and so we're really excited to see this project go up literally from our offices. So on behalf of my partners, Steve Swanson and Courtney Kunkel, and really on behalf of the two guys who are going to be down here building this every day, Mark Osborne, raise your hand, Mark, and Stephen Clark. Where's Stephen? Those two guys are going to be here every day watching this thing go up. Um, we really appreciate the opportunity to work with Linden Street as well and are excited to be part of the project. Um, I also want to thank our friends at the Roastery for coming out on this very chilly day and providing us with complimentary coffee. So all of our thanks to Danny O'Neill and his team at the Roastery as well. Thanks so much. Tom Garand, Executive Director with the Kansas City Streetcar Authority, and I'm going to make this uh, very brief. On behalf of the Streetcar Authority Board of Directors, I want to say to Andrew and Scott, congratulations. I want to say welcome to the neighborhood and I want to say thank you. Thank you for believing in uh, the streetcar. Thank you for believing in downtown and Main Street and thank you for believing in the vision that is uh, downtown Kansas City and all of the great things that are happening here. So we're happy to be a part of it and we look forward to seeing this project going up as our project's going up and we can run those things together. So thank you very much. All right, well, we're going to keep it short in view of the, the temperature and everything else. But thanks, everybody, for coming out. We're super excited to be doing this project and be this far along. And we look forward to seeing, hopefully, everybody again in nine or ten months when we're done and have our grand opening. So thanks again. And if you want to stick around, we're going to do a photo op here with shovels and call it a day. Thank you. This is just one of several projects happening up and down the streetcar line that are considered infill development. It's what urban planners say provide the density needed to make the streetcar line a major success. For Channel 2, I'm Chris Hernandez.